Do you want to be able to send SMS texts from your application? In this video, that is exactly what we're going to learn how to do. Hi guys, my name is Sam with Complete Coding and in this video, we're going to be learning how we can use Amazon's SNS service with API Gateway and Lambda to allow our applications to send text messages to our users. This can be used for a wide range of things, including notifications about changes to your app or about billing, or it could even be part of your service. For example, users could set notification timers so they get a text message in three hours reminding them to do something. There's a huge range of things you can do with texts, but in this video, we're going to be showing you how to set that up. Now that we're in the code, there are two things that we need to do to set up this serverless endpoint so that we can send text messages to our user. The first is setting up an endpoint file and then configuring it in the serverless YAML file. We're going to start with the endpoint. So in here, we're going to create a new file called sendsms.js. And in this file, we're going to be configuring our SMS sending technologies. To start, we are going to have a handler. So exports.handler is an async function that gets passed to an event every time this lambda gets called. Inside here, we're, as we normally do, starting by console logging out the event. just like that. And then we're into the meat of the code. So the first thing that we need to know is how is this API going to get hit? And how is it going to receive the data that we need to send via text? We're going to be using a post request. So that means that the event will have a body on it. So what we need to do is pass that body. So const body equals json dot pass and we're passing event dot body so this will now ha result in us having a json object which is the body passed in to the api request and now we need to do some validation to check that we have everything that we need so if there is not a body or if there is not body dot phone number or there is not body dot message. So the phone number and the message are the two data pieces that we need to be able to send a message to the user. If we don't have either of these, we need to send a, a response that we are missing some data. So we need to return and then we need to return a response. We already have the common responses file, so we need to import it at the top. So const responses equals require. And we can use dot dot slash to get down to the common folder. And inside that common folder, it is API responses. Now we can turn responses dot underscore 400 for a failed request. And we can pass in a message object. And that message will be missing phone number or message from the body. If we get after this if statement, we know that we have both the phone number and the message on the body. So now we can start creating some logic. With SMSs, we need to do two things. First, we need to set the type of the message. 
and then we need to define the message itself. The first thing is defining the attributes. So const attribute params is an object with attributes, which again is an object. And that has a default SMS type. And we're going to set this to promotional. This is going to be telling Amazon that when we send a text, send it with the type of a promotional text. There are a couple of different types. And if you need to change this, you can look at the Amazon SNS documents. As well as that, we also need to define the message parameters. So const message params. Again, this is an object which has a message. So it has to be capital M pointing at body dot message. And then it has a phone number, which is body dot phone number. So now we have both of the parameters, we can set up our SNS calls using the AWS SDK. To do that, we also need to scroll to the top of the file and import the AWS SDK. So const AWS equals require. And we're going to be requiring the AWS dash SDK. As well as that, we can also now define the SNS service. So const SNS equals a new instance of AWS dot SNS. And this needs to be passed an object with an API version. That API version needs to be 2010 hyphen 03 dash 31. So now that we've defined our SNS object, we can go down to the bottom of here. And there are two things we need to do. The first one is to set attributes. So await SNS dot set SMS attributes. And in here, we're going to be passing in the attribute parameters. And of course, we're going to be adding dot promise on the end to make it asynchronous. As well as that, we then need to publish the message. So await SNS dot publish. And we can pass in the message parameters into this. And again, add dot promise onto the end. If this has all worked, then we need to return a 200 response. So return responses dot underscore 200 with a message of text has been sent. So this is great. And this will actually allow us to send these text messages. But what happens if either of these two fail to succeed? What will happen is this whole Lambda will fail. And then we'll get an error message inside API Gateway because it hasn't received the correct response. To combat that, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap all of this in a try catch. This is good because it has multiple places it could fail. And if any of those fail, it will be caught in the catch section. So if we try, we can now indent all of this and close the curly brace section and then add our catch statement. So if we do, if there is an error, 
we're going to catch it. And with that error, we're first going to console log out the error. And after that, we are then going to return a 400 response saying that the text failed to send. So return responses dot underscore 400, passing in a message of text failed to send. That is now all of our code configured. So we're checking that we have all of the values that we need, defining the attribute and the message parameters, setting those attributes and then publishing the message. If this all succeeds, we're returning a 200 response. If there's any errors, then we return a 400. So now that we've saved that file, we can go back into our serverless YAML file and set up some configuration to allow this to be deployed. We're going to start with the functions and we have the send SMS function. This has a handler, which is lambdas slash endpoints slash send SMS dot handler. As well as that, we need to define the events so that an API gateway endpoint is created. So events, this is going to be a HTTP event. It's going to have a path and the path for this can be whatever you want. I'm going to be going with send-sms. It needs a method. So in the code, we expected a body to be posted up. Therefore, it needs to be a post request. And finally, we can set cause to be true. If we save that, that is the functions part, but we also need to add some permissions. We need to set these permissions to allow the Lambda to actually use SNS to send messages. So inside the provider after the region, we need to set an I am role statements. And we need to first have an effect because we want to allow this Lambda to do something. The action that it is now allowed to do is both an SNS set SMS attributes and an SNS publish. So SNS colon set SMS attributes as well as SNS colon publish. And we want this to be able to do this on any of our resources. So resource and that can just be a star. If we save all of that and make sure that everything is typed correctly, we can now head down to our terminal and run SLS deploy. This takes a little bit of time, so if it'd be a great opportunity for you to hit that like button so that it helps the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to more developers just like yourself. Now that has completed building and deploying, we can see that we have one endpoint, which is our send SMS endpoint. What we can do is we can copy this URL and head over into Postman. We need to use Postman as this is a post request, which we can't do easily from a browser. So if we post in our URL, click on a post message, and then we need to define the body that we are posting up. It's a raw body, and we're going to be using it in JSON format. Enter curly braces, and in here we need to define two things. First is the phone number. 
Now this phone number needs to use a very certain standard. It needs to be your international phone code and then your mobile number. So because I'm in the UK, it's plus four four and then my phone number. As well as that, we need to include a message. And this message can be whatever string you want. I'm gonna send a message of this is a message from my serverless API exclamation mark and hit send. When we send that, we get a response. It's a 200 response with message, this text has been sent. I'm now gonna show you the screen grab on my phone of me receiving that message. In this video, we have learned how we can use Amazon's SNS service to create an API where we can send text messages to our users. This can be used for a wide range of things, from notifications to functionality inside your application. The limit is your imagination. So in the comments, let me know what you think you could use SMS messaging for in your applications. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button so it helps the YouTube algorithm suggest this video to more developers like yourselves. And if you want to see more content on serverless and API development, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get notified next time I upload a serverless video. Thank you and I'll see you again next time.